Hi students, now we'll be looking at what book, page 87, question 1. So I hope to like um make more videos based on this chapter as this chapter is quite complicating and it requires um different properties that we learn and apply to such questions. And these questions do follow you up to your upper sec and they will be tested in your N level and O level. So I make the effort to produce this video, so please take that time to go and Revise also. So angle BEA is what you're trying to find, and angle BEC is what you're trying to find. So first step, highlight all the keywords, key information in the question. Rectangle ABCD and E lines on AB such that it creates two angles. Angle ABE, so ABE and angle BCE. B C E. So whenever I do this question, right, I'll use a pencil to trace. The angle angle B C E, so that means my angle will be right in the middle between these two lines B C and C E. So this is how the angle representation is being uh, created. So it shows that this angle is made by two is made between two lines B C and C E. So for the angles that I need to find right, I always use a question mark and label on the diagram so that I know where am I heading. Angle BEA, BEA, so the red question mark represents this part one. Angle BEC, BEC, so the purple question mark represents part two. So whenever I see a triangle, the first thing that came to my mind will be to use the sum of interior angle of a triangle that add up to 180 degree. So this one will be the first property that I need to come to my, as I need to think about whenever I meet any triangles given in the diagram. So how to use this property, right? I need to make sure that I have two out of the three interior angles of a triangle in order to use this property. So now the next question will be, how do I find angle BAE? So this is what I'm trying to find. And I realized that angle BAE, right, is actually the interior angle of a rectangle. And I know that interior angle of a rectangle is equal to 90 degree. So angle BAE is equal to 90 degree. The reason being is an interior angle of rectangle a b c d so you need to write the reasoning down so writing this down it can give you the first mark so for the next part since i know that this one this angle bae is 90 degree i label it on my diagram so i label it on my diagram so now the second statement will be to write the relations so 90 degree plus 50 degree plus angle BEA add up to 180 degree. So the reasoning will be sum of interior angle of a triangle A, B, E. So in order to find angle BEA, I just need to subtract both sides of the equations with 90 and 50. 180 degree minus 90 degree minus 50 degree. And this is why we learn solving unknowns in the first few chapters before we reach this chapter. So solving unknowns can be applied to any chapters. So now, angle BEA will be equal to 40 degree. This will be my answer. So remember part one, because you need to be Label it working so that when you want to check it working, at least you know which statements right is representing from which part. So part two. So let me give you another clue too. So normally, right, when we ask you to find this type of angles, right, they are always like related to each other in like different steps. So if you can think of the shortcut or like how are they related, you can do it faster. If you can't, right, you can always do the longer method, which takes more time. But as long as you get the answer and the reasoning is right, we'll give you the marks. So part two, table part two first. First step, okay, let me use another color. Okay, so for part two, how do I find this purple question mark here? Okay, so first step, whenever I see a triangle, I need to make use of the property sum of interior angle that add up to 180 degree. So in this case, right, 
I have only uh, one angle given in this question. So I need to find out what is this angle over here? Question mark. So angle CBE. Okay, so if you are more familiar with writing the L shape of angles, you can proceed. No worries. So how do I find angle CBE? So in this case, right, I need to find out what could be the sum of the properties that I can use in order to find out what is angle CBE. So in this case, whenever I see parallel lines, I can make use of the Z property. It's called a Z property, but don't tell me it's a Z property. It's just for your easy understanding, it looks like a Z. So let me highlight for you to see. So, so this Z over here is called an alternate angle. So what does it mean? It means, right, angle B, angle B, E, A is an alternate angle to angle E, B, C. So angle C, B, E is equals to angle B, E, A. And why? Because they are alternate angles, so you can label it 40 degrees first. So since 40 degree, I found in part 1, I put it in. So it'll be 40 degree or so. Please use a pencil to label so that you can erase when you make any mistake. It's 40 degree. So the property will be alternate angle. So alternate angle, there's a shortcut to write. You can put ALT. And you must write down which are the two lines that are parallel to each other. So it's um, BC parallel to AE. So this is how you write the property of alternate angle. Alternate angle, angle CBE is equal to angle BEA because they are alternate angle and because BC is parallel to AE. So whenever you see parallel lines, the first thing that came to mind will be to use alternate angle if it's possible. So whenever you see parallel lines, let me write a note here. Note. Whenever you see parallel lines, there are two properties that you can consider. First property is to use alternate angle, which is the so-called Z. Yeah, so Z is just to make you easy. It allow you to remember easier. You cannot say Z as a reason. You must put down alternate angle parallels between these two lines. The next property they can consider is to consider interior angles between two parallel lines. So interior angle between two parallel lines. Okay, so the one in the common right, they are the lines that are parallel to each other. So interior angle, it means, right, let me show you an example. It means these two angles, these two angles, they add up to 180 degree because these two lines, they are parallel to each other. That's all. So this one is some key notes that you want to take note, note down in your notebook or your workbook, anywhere that you will revise and you will use it for revision. So these are my secret tips for you. And if you don't um, take it down, it's your problem. I have tell you already these tips. So now we have made use of um, alternate angle. And now we have two out of the three angles in a triangle already. So finding the angles in the purple question mark, no problem. So statement number one, you need to write down 60 degree plus 40 degree plus angle BEC add up to 180 degree. So the reasoning will be sum of interior angle of triangle CBE. CBE. So now to find out what is angle BEC, 
you just need to subtract 60 and 40 from both sides of the equations. So BEC is equal to 180 degree minus 60 degree minus 40 degree, which gives you 80 degree. So this is it. This is my answer for both parts, part 1 and part 2. So thank you.